next speaker is Lou D. Leonardo. And Lou will be followed by Robin Thompson. And our last speaker is Dan Lagana. Hello, everyone. My name is Lou D. Leonardo. I've lived in Fairfax County for 30 years now. And I have watched uh, the standard of living steadily decline. Real estate taxes are now higher than they've ever been. Congestion on our roads has never been worse. Schools are worse than ever. And now we have a gang problem that has been called horrible by Police Chief Ressler. Cops are not allowed to inquire about citizenship at stops. In 2009, then Police Chief David Rohrer told me that at a community meeting at West Springfield High School. And I can tell you that from personal experience. Jail personnel will only do what is required by the Code of Virginia to help ICE in identifying illegals. Sheriff Kincaid says that ICE agents have access to a fingerprint database. They do. ICE must check the database for citizenship. Jail personnel will not. Now the sheriff wants to end an agreement to hold prisoners for up to 48 hours for ICE unless ordered by a court. Why? To me, this is passive aggression. So beginning next Wednesday, if ICE agents are not there for a pickup, prisoners will be released onto the street. It's clear that Fairfax County officials simply don't want to help ICE rid our, our county of illegal aliens. The bottom line is now that Fairfax is a sanctuary county, much like San Francisco, New York City, and Los Angeles, but that's not just my opinion. The Federation for American Immigration Reform says that Fairfax is a sanctuary county. However, some people have said, we're not a sanctuary, we're welcoming, we're a welcoming community. So are we welcoming illegal aliens onto our streets? Cops will unnecessarily be in greater danger. So why not renew this 48-hour agreement? The reason for not agreeing, for not uh, renewing, cannot be financial. You're talking about six extra meals over two days? Come on. If it's no big deal to end it, then why do it? So what if only other two cities or counties in Virginia have a similar agreement in place? Would it make a difference if 20 or 30 or 40 did? I think the answer is because county Democrats simply want to cultivate votes for Im from immigrant communities by not turning over for deportation anyone, anyone from those communities, even if a criminal. I'm afraid we might have our own Kate Steinle because the sheriff wouldn't hold an inmate for a lousy 48 hours. So my recommendation, my recommendation is that the sheriff delay her decision until it is put up to the voters in a referendum in November. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Dilly, De Leonardo. Our next speaker is Robin Thompson. Robin Thompson is our next speaker. Is is uh, that person here? Okay. And Dan Lagana is here. Welcome, Dan. Thank you, Madam Chairman and members of the Board of Supervisors. My name is Dan Lagana, and I'm chairman of the Fairfax County Democratic Committee. Uh, first of all, I'm here because I want to thank Sheriff Stacy Kincaid for her courageous decision to terminate the Intergovernmental Service Agreement with Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. I, uh, I come armed with facts, and I just want to dispel some of the lies and blatant misinformation on this matter that I believe are rooted in political opportunism and designed to mollify the uh, racial anxieties of a very narrow and conservative primary electorate in 2019. So first and foremost, I ask everyone in support of the termination of the Intergovernmental Service Agreement with ICE to please stand up and remain standing. Yes. The termination of the Intergovernmental Service Agreement with ICE will not in any way hinder the county's ability to investigate or prosecute crimes. Rather, it is an important step in building trust of our local law enforcement, which is critical for effective community policing. Terminating the agreement with ICE will not increase crime. If anything, people will be less scared to interact with police. 
and report crimes as victims or witnesses and will make Fairfax County a safer place to live and work. Fairfax County is already one of the safest jurisdictions of its size in the country, something we can all be proud of. At the April 3rd Public Safety Committee meeting, Colonel Douglas Keene, Chairman of the Northern Virginia Regional Gang Task Force, testified that the termination of this agreement would have little to no impact on the gang task force. Terminating the agreement with ICE is the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do to respect and protect the human and constitutional rights of all people in Fairfax County and to ensure that all residents of Fairfax County are afforded equal justice. And I reject any attempts to divide our neighbors based on where they are born, the color of their skin, the language they speak, or the faith they practice. And I call on our elected officials to lead in the way in speaking out when anyone would try to do that. And I think overwhelmingly this board does that. Scare tactics and fear mongering will, may serve political aspirations, but they do not benefit our county. In that vein, I want to thank the board for allowing me to speak today, and I would like to say that I support the continuing efforts of the Fairfax for All Coalition to end this arrangement. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dave.